Today we're going to retexture a ceiling. This joint here where the drywall connected, the tape came loose like a lot of the old tapes did. So I had to cut out the tape and re-tape it with the new nice mesh tape. So then I've resurfaced it with drywall mud and sanded it flat. But now we're going to have to match this texture. This ceiling texture was done with an oval brush. But the brush I have is a circle. But we're going to have to make do. This is a drywall texture brush. It's like something like horse hair or something in it. First I'm going to put some drywall mud into a casserole dish. Don't tell your wife. We're going to add some water. You want the drywall mud, or as its technical name, joint compound, to be a thinner texture than the way it comes in the bucket. That way the brush can be dipped in, pulled out easily, a nice gentle texture created. About the texture of pudding. And then bake for 30 minutes. Just kidding. We're gonna wet the brush first. This can get pretty messy, dropping a lot of mud, so put down a drop cloth. Just take your time and try to place it in spots. Try to match the texture, how often, you can see how often they applied their brush. Once we get a section up, we're going to use a uh, taping knife to knock back down the texture because right now it's, a lot of it's hanging very low. So we're going to just lightly drag, flip it over, clean the knife off between passes. You always want a perfectly clean knife to drag each side. This leftover material will interfere. Now we're going to let it dry and then take a look at it and see if we need to go back over it with another pass. Whoa! Just kidding. On the second pass, I added a few more designs where it was too flat. Another way to knock it down is to just place the material up there, let it dry, and then we'll sand it to back it down. Well, that blended in nicely. I think the one that blended better was putting up the drywall mud and then sanding it back down when it dried. I think it matched the pattern better than putting it up and immediately taking it down with the trowel, but it may depend on your texture. But thanks for watching. Tune in next time, we'll do another fun project. And subscribe to my channel, you'll know when that is.